Hey guys, so I'm just doing a quick get ready with me video. Um, I'm going to the Rift Tracks live screening of Anaconda with one of my friends tonight. So I'm just doing a quick makeup look. I figured it was a good time to film. So right now I'm just priming my face with my Pore Professional and my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And now I am concealing with my Physician's Formula Dual Ended Green and Skin Tone Concealer. Now I'm going in with my Garnier Rollerball, which has currently become one of my favorite things ever. It is a wonder for my under eyes. For foundation, I'm just using my Revlon Colorstay. Forgive me, my lighting was a little quirky, and the foundation looks kind of yellow on my face, at least it does to me, um, but I promise it did not look like that in real life. Now I'm just spot concealing some areas. I'm just setting my under eyes with a translucent powder. And I'm using that same powder to set the rest of my face as well. I'm just going to use my Bare Minerals Well Rested really quickly to spot conceal a few areas. To prime my eye for eyeshadow, I'm just using my Krylon Aqua Color actually. This is going to make the colors look really, really pigmented. I'm just going in with Max Soft Brown in my crease real quick. I'm just going to buff that in really seamlessly with a fluffy crease brush. Then in the outer V, I'm going to go in with MAC Sketch, which is, I'm going to say, my second favorite MAC eyeshadow in the world. I think it is the most beautiful color. It's like a plummy wine kind of color. And then I'm also going to blend that kind of under my eye as well as into the crease where we put the soft brown. Then I'm going to go in with Stila Kitten and I'm going to pat that over where we put the white with my finger. This makeup look, by the way, is the makeup look I've been doing pretty much every single day. I think it is a really pretty look for fall. Then next, as per usual, I'm just going to put on my liquid liner. I'm just going to do a wing. And that's both eyes done. Next, I'm just taking MAC Smolder Pencil and putting it in my tight line. Then I'm taking the Push Up Liner by Benefit and I'm putting it in my waterline. For mascara, I just have this sample of this Buxom mascara that I got from Sephora and I've been really liking it, so when I'm out of this, I'll probably end up buying the full tube. Maybe I'm too old to ride the swings at the fair. I'm just quickly highlighting my brow bone with a matte nude shadow. If I want to, and without falsies, that's the eye makeup done. And I really didn't feel like drawing in my eyebrows like I usually do, so I just ran through my brows with some of this dark brown Benefit Give Me Brow. Sometimes trees get taller, we watch and admire as little boys turn into men. Behind us. And as usual, coffee, Ninja Turtle Cup. Just going in with my bronzer, this is a Physician's Formula bronzer in light. And I'm just going to put that in all the areas. I usually put my bronzer kind of like mildly a base for my contour. Then I'm going to contour with my Anastasia contour kit as usual. We 
Well, maybe warnings don't work And maybe I had to see for on myself Then I'm going in with this dusty pink blush by Milani and I am going to apply that where I usually put my blush, which is kind of like the sides of my cheeks, avoiding the apples. And I'm taking my MAC highlighter and just applying that in the usual areas with a fan brush. Sometimes trees get taller, we watch and admire as little boys turn into men. And my usual Essence lip liner and nude lip gloss combo that I always wear. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop on some falsies. These are like kind of short, thicker ones with like long wispies. I'm not sure what they're called. I'll put it in the down bar. But that's what they look like, and I think they're really fun and really pretty. But um, yeah, that's the finished makeup look. Anyways, as you can see, my friend has shown up for us to be gone to the movies. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. The world.